Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will get lost, we will get natural, we will deconstruct the scrolling layout of the get lost, get natural.ru cool scrolling website created by the Hungry Boys. First, let's have a look at the main concept of the scrolling. So we'll see overflow hidden, there's no scroll bar. And when we start scrolling, the next section comes into a view and that repeats for each of the sections. So let's firstly review, and that's the main question as well, how was the scrolling done? Okay, so as I mentioned, the whole page, the article dot promo has an overflow hidden, position absolute, top left zero, 100% width and height with overflow hidden. That's why there's no horizontal scroll bars. And inside of it, we've got the promo underscore content, which has a couple sections inside of it. And these are the sections that we actually scrolling to. So if I scroll now, you'll see the matrix on the promo content changing to minus 1341, which is the height of each of the sections. And then if we scroll down to next section, the value is doubled. Okay, so now we animating to 2682, which is a double of the screen size. And that repeats for each of the sections. So if I drew the concept on a piece of paper, this is how it would look. Firstly, we'll create the promo container, which will be position absolute with width and height of the browser. Then we will create a promo content which will be the container of each of the slides. And then inside of it, we would create multiple slides. Okay, each of them would have the same height as the browser window, as the browser viewport. And then the animation is quite simple. We are moving the content up by the size of each slide, which is the browser height. The site is using a number of plugins. The first one is jQuery, then images loaded, jQuery mouse wheel, scroll magic, greensock, underscore.js and vivus or vivus, not sure how to pronounce this and much more. And that's it all for today. Hope you've enjoyed another deconstruction and let me know in the comments if you've got another website which you want me to deconstruct next time. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this from the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Until next time, happy coding, bye.